And they're out there damn mind with all these settings. Yeah, they're definitely out there mind. Uh, based off of Nordic um, stories, I believe. At least from what I've read very lightly of this. Everyone thinks I'm snorting some coke here. No, I'm not. I'm uh, inhaling some of this vapor inhaler so that way I can breathe a little bit better. Long, long time ago, when the first elves were... I couldn't read that. Um, Holy goddess Marissa, a creator and guardian of nature, handed them four sacred unicorns. These ancient legendary beings brought purity and balance to the elves, turning them into immortals. This incredible and magical power is passing from one generation to one generation next, making them new life into immortal life. Or making every new life into an immortal life, rather. One night, the unicorn suddenly disappeared. It was thought to be witchcraft. For the first time, the elves have feared for their mortality, as the divinity divided by the unicorns was gone. However, perhaps a twist of fate, one of the unicorns survived. The fairies found him. He had been cursed and had broken horn. The elves feared for this curse. Handed them over to a young elf hero with the ancient scrolls was only capable of restoring the power of the very last unicorn. This is how the pursuit of the eternity or eternity began. Uh, Michaela's temple was built on the age of the gods by the king uh, V back in the lands of the north were constantly under attack from the giants who threatened the Mangard lands once again the glory battle which king was very ran way towards the mountains of uh, a witness in the massacre of his ability to drift he found the colossal image of a desolate goddess alone and gravely injured he got down to his knees in front of her and made a sacred promise he asked or the Lord's giant head in exchange for a building, a temple, and a tribute to the goddess. Two days went into the king and vengeance is merch. Sorry, towards the veterans. Okay. Hey, girl. Checkpoint has been reached. Putting on the Ritz. Hey there, buddy. There are some fun flasks wrapped in these roots. Uh, don't be afraid. Come closer. I am like the guardian of these lands. I know why you're here. I can feel your pain. No purity is a reservoir of animals where you were here. Granny. I conjure you in the name of all gods, for the spirit you born soul that dreams of this and dark witness of space. Uh, take this path of the light, push away the dark shadows and across this realm. The only miracle can awake, and then he can help you. Okay, take your flask and you do some dark soul shit. Alright, gotcha. You got the light flask. Right on, unicorn. Giddy up. Alright. 
Hold uh, our our left button next to the corrupted body to purify it from witchcraft. Okay. Okay. It's like tap dancing. Wait, I'm to my attack. Oh, okay. Okay. Do my chest stuff. Sweet. Far, uh, Fanaslir. Or uh, Fanaslar. Performs pretty well. Take that. Take that. Combat is a little bit weird. Like, I'm more used to games, obviously, like Fable, don't get me wrong, but that one just felt kind of off. Okay. What? So... The combat literally just stun-locked me and I couldn't move, period. So that way the character- the enemy could perform its animation, even though I had plenty of opportunity to move. Okay, that's something I'm not liking at all.
Very glitchy. How you doing, Kevin? Oop. Oh! What the heck happened? Again, it's like, it seems like the character wants to clip into the enemy and do like a death, or a death kill animation, be it. Ah, oh, right on, right on. How you doing today? Oh, hey, whoa! See, again, that animation there locks, right? Oh! Right. Now, what'd you think of it? There we go, bonfire, and from what I, at least for watch from Ty's stream, uh, apparently that's a save point. Yep, save point. Can I open this chest? Yes, I can. Uh, perfect, and ready crystal, use it to a small number of fragments, okay. Aww. Thank you, Kevin. The hell is going on here? Oh! On my own business, and this game opens up a can of worms. Uh. <laughs> Hope we can find some herbs around here. There's a pickup up there I can't get to. Hey you, water. Cough, cough. Now I get to give the guy some some hydrogen. But yeah. Oh, right on, right on. I'll be sure to uh, replay it uh, for a future video. Smeagol. All right. Herbs. All right, so use mistletoe to relieve poison. Actually, no, let me go back here first. Level up a duh.
I will say definitely that uh, Gunman, in terms of how it was made, I like the idea of it. It was just some of that obvious uh, rough edges. But it was really good, at least so far. All right, making sure I don't die here because these things are vicious. Getting crafting materials. I'm assuming I can keep farming this area from a bunch of parts and everything. Thank you for that follow, Kevin. Yeah, we will be switching out, by the way, to the suffering here shortly. I was actually thinking about also popping on uh, one more game for the stream here for a bonus. Uh, not so much an indie title, but something retro I haven't played in a little while. Been cankering to try it out. Well, it'll just be for like a race or two, too. And you, you kind of already got a hint at what I'm getting at. It's a racing game, but not quite revealed what it is yet. Thank you kindly for that OCD. Mmm, not crash. I was taking no chances in that engagement. All right. Nope. You'll see. It's kind of a uh, this game was actually or w the game I'm about to play is was actually a inspired by a game on the SNES. But it it too was also. The concept of this game here is is pretty good. Um, at least the premise here. I'm trying to get. Okay, there we go. But it's one I'm gonna have. To, I can see right off the bat. I'm gonna have to do a ton of grinding though. Even reach the surface. What I have to do with that one. <laughs> 